As the kickoff of the semi-professional football league in St. Lucia gets closer, the organizers sell a press conference at the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports Friday to make further announcements on the start of the league, set for March 10, 2024. Francis Daniel, the league's chief executive officer, provided details ahead of the competition. I spoke to the tournament um, format. It's going to be um, 10 and 9, respectively. And it's going to be in a league format with a playoff. Okay, so we're talking about 49 and 40 games over a six-month period in, in Tier 1 and Tier 2. Um, prize money, I know you all want to know about that. Uh, basically, we're looking at 25, 59, and 5 for now. That's what's in the budget. But we're hoping with your cooperation in terms of popularizing the sport, you know, raising confidence, public confidence in what we do, we'll be able to land some serious sponsorship. And like everything else, you know, that will redound to um, the tournament and the participants, you know, um, in, in this tournament. President of the St. Lucia Football Association, Lyndon Cooper, expressed optimism that the new league will boost the quality of football on Ireland. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the St. Lucia Football Association and myself personally to extend my sincere thanks and gratitude to the Minister with Responsibility for Sports by Extension, the Government of St. Lucia by seeing the importance in trying to assist the, the SLFA achieve its overall objective. We occupy no doubt that this, this country is going to benefit in the next three years. Football and all the key partners are going to be the, 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 benefit, the beneficiaries in this project. So once again, I just want to thank you for being here and on behalf of the SLFA, we, we, are, we are grateful to be part and parcel of this project. Minister responsible for Youth Development and Sports, the Honorable Kenson Casimir, reiterated the intention of the League to transform lives and noted that it will not merely be a means of providing income for young men playing football. You see, the vision is not just to compensate young men for kicking a ball and scoring goals. It is to transform their lives. And so through the assistance of the Taiwanese government, and for the collaboration of the Ministry of Education and NSDC, we will be having a program instituted for them that will allow them to go beyond football and get certification in whatever skill, whatever other skill they have, be it plumbing, be it carpentry, be it bartending, but the opportunity will be there for them to get certification under the semi-pro football league. We also will be instituting programs on conflict resolution. We know some of the issues we have in our communities. And so the young men will be part of those programs throughout the season and the off season. We'll also be instituting a fatherhood program because when you dig deep into what's happening in our society, we see that a lot of the families that are affected, a lot of the deviant behavior that we experience comes from the lack of a proper father in a household. The league's March 10th opening doubleheader at the Mindufile Park will see Marsha taking on Babano at 2 p.m., followed by an encounter between Grosile and Leclerc. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.